I've played Stellaris for over 800 hours now, but that by no means makes me an expert. But I have played the game a lot, and in all those games, I've never played a Megacorp. So I'm going to go through this as a beginner and, and take a look at the first 30 years as a Megacorporation. I decided to use a canned uh, or, or a pre-built civilization to start out with, so I'm going to use the Chinora Combine. And they get private prospectors, which reduces the empire size from systems by 33% ruthless competition so they get code breaking gains I like the fact that their uh, claim influence cost is reduced by 10 and the robot upkeep upkeeps minus 20 percent so all in all they get good materials they get good research uh, prosperous unification they give me they start the game with an additional four pops with an additional two districts so uh, mol, mol, they've got molluscoid ships so anyway, I think this would be a good one to start with, so I'm going to take them just as they are. Mm -hmm. As for the game details, I'm going to leave it at my favorite settings. I like medium galaxies. Um, I like a little, few more habitable worlds to show up, a few more primitive civilizations. I leave the the victory years and mid game year and end game year all the same. Difficulty, I like captain. So I'm just going to leave all those pretty much the, set, the same, and I'm going to play the game. Mm -hmm. When the game starts, I get a summary screen showing me my origin, my authority, the ethics, civics, and characteristics or traits of my race. And after looking that over, I'll start the game and, and let the fun begin. Before I'm pausing the game, I always take care of the research alerts at the top of the screen. And I'm going to build on their strengths if it's available. But I, unlike the other games, I don't have a boost for uh, research in, in this one which is kind of, I don't know if that's because of the Empire I selected or what. So I'm going to take, uh, I don't know, energy subsidies. This one, yeah, no research bonuses. I'll take an off-world trading company. Yeah, the options came up completely. Here we go. That's a 20% bonus. I'll definitely take that one. So I'll close that out. Also, before I pause the game, I like to assign projects to my construction ship and, and science ship so here I usually can't build the mining stations but I have enough to build a research station get that going and this guy I'll send out right away to check the first uh, system with the colony planet I'll probably build another science ship so I can go out in this direction and as for my fleet instead of disbanding it or dismantling it I like to assign uh, uh, an admiral to it right away so I can he can start getting expert expertise or experience but I don't have enough uh, I don't have enough unity right now, so I'll have to wait on that. The fleets do give you a little bit of additional influence through through a power projection. I'm getting 0.24 from this one, so to me that's worthwhile keeping because I like to expand quickly in the early games, and I don't see where this game would be any different. We'll find out. So with that, I'm going to unpause the game and and uh, get started. Boom! We built something. Yeah, I like the advisor voice in this one. <laughs> I think before I recruit an admiral, I'm going to get my... Oops, let's see. Cool. But I think before I uh, get my admiral, I'm going to assign a uh, leader to this science ship so I can get more exploration going on. I've got enough to recruit somebody. Longevity. Okay, longevity. Or cheap <laughs> reductions in leader cost. This is one of the irritating things about this game. You're in the middle of something and you get one of these little pop-ups that you have to take care of and then if you're like me you forget what you were doing. Uh, do we want to greet him with open arms? Yeah why not. So this guy's rocket speed, research speed, void craft, research speed, new worlds. I'll take that one and I'll assign him to my ship and then I'm going to go explore in this direction. My construction ship is still building mining stations, so I'm good there. I would like to get an admiral assigned here. I don't know if I've got enough. Uh, yeah, I do. Boom! We built something. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm going to take this guy. So you can start gaining experience right away, in case I get into a fight early in the game. I'm going to move my construction ship over here. It's not fully surveyed yet, but I'll have him ready to build a, an outpost when it is. I found something. 
anomalies i want to leave them be for now i want to get out and explore the, the system as much as i can so i'm usually i'll build another science ship just to take care of these i think if i've got i don't have enough resources for a, a colony ship yet but i will oh ready for my first tradition so what do i want to take from... prospect analyzed <laughs> okay i'm gonna pause the game so i don't get too far behind here i like i use pause a lot in this game Adaptability. Let's see. I am a megacorp. So what's going to help me the most is a megacorp. I'm going to go in this particular case. I'm going to go with discovery. I'm going to adopt that mainly because I get to increase survey speed eventually, and I get more research alternatives at this very start. So I like that. I'm going to try give that a try. This system has been surveyed. I'll move him to the next system and then I'll pause the game. This side, oh, that was done too. I missed that. Go to the next system. I should have enough influence and materials to build a starbase outpost. So for my colony ship, I'm lacking 73 consumer goods. I've got enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the market and I'm going to buy some consumer goods. I've got some energy to spare. Then I can build my colony ship. Construction complete. I'll move him down here in anticipation of the next uh, system being surveyed. And then I'm gonna move him back here and go out this way. I made a mistake here. Shoot. I really need to build the mining stations first before I move him. Archaeological site I discovered here, and I usually build a fourth science ship to take care of those if I have run into any uh, hostile empires yet. Ready for another tradition? Okay, I want the research alternative first. I'm gonna take that. Colony ship is ready. I might as well get about it right away. I might, as well exploitation forecast complete. I might as well colonize this guy right away. And since this has got a uh, archaeological site, I am going to build an outpost there so I can dig it. Science ship's ready. Assign a leader. Should help out with anomalies. And I'm going to send him down here to research the anomalies in the system. Priming planet for settlement. Okay, a great day for the Chinor Combine. I have colonized my first planet, or at least started the process. Ready for another tradition. I'm going to take the other one here. Survey speed, increase that. A first contact. With this, I need to assign an envoy since he's one of them's busy right now. I'll assign this guy to it. See if we can establish communications with this alien empire, the Alpha Aliens. Since I'm still exploring, I'm going to activate an edict, map the stars. That gives me uh, survey speed increase to 25%. 10% better chance of finding anomalies Prospect and analyzed. ship hyperplane detection range of plus one. That'll stay in effect until canceled. Uses up a little bit of unity, but it, I think it'll be worth it. And it looks like I'm still gonna be limited by influence. It's always a short supply at the beginning of the game. Hmm. One of my vessels has been destroyed by the alpha aliens. Sounds like they're not gonna be too friendly. I'm sure I will quickly find out. They will be avenged. I'm going to establish the colony at uh, Maya Prime. So these guys are definitely hostile now. I don't know if they're going to attack my science vessel or not. And our science ship is running for its life. Since I've run into hostiles already, I'm going to build up a few, uh, few corvettes. And my other construction ship was destroyed. Well, you can always replace it. They're cheap. Oh. <laughs> They're cheap if you've got the alloys or the yeah the alloys. <laughs> and I'm gonna des designate this world a forge world. I want to get my uh, alloys going quick, coming up quickly. I'm even gonna build an industrial district ahead of time. Looks like I'm gonna be cut off on the left. So I'm gonna try to grab this choke point right here. And build up some defenses. I think these are going to be some guys that I'm not going to get along with at all. And now I'm getting a transmission from another alien empire, probably them. Interesting. And I'm going to cooperate with them to improve, improve their opinion of me. 
And this changes everything, of course, because now we know there's people out there who don't like us. Okay, now I see the their borders, and uh, that looks like they've already grabbed that, so I'm gonna go back here. I'll grab the, upgrade this to starport, start fortifying the border a little bit. Well, my expansion has been stalled in this game. I've got a hostile amoeba here, or whatever it is, and I've got a hostile empire here. And over here, I've got hostiles, and I'm not sure, hostile amoebas also. So there is a special a project in the, in the situation log. There's an uh, amoeba pacifications available. I'm going to research that because I don't have to fight my way through all of those with my with my fleets, but I will. But let's see what they can do first before I uh, take any more drastic action. <laughs> I get to name my juvenile amoeba. I like bubbles. Okay, my final uh, tradition in this tradition group is available. So by accepting that, I now get an ascension perk. Since I'm so short on influence, I'm going to take Interstellar Dominion. I really need to get my expansion going. I'm pretty well stalled, but this should help by cutting the cost a little bit. That's one of my favorite ones. I take it almost every game. By the way, if you're liking this video, don't forget to hit the like button so I can spread my joy to other people. Thank you. I see I have some migrating pops from Chikara, whatever that name is. I'm going to click on it. And I think I'm going to check my automation settings and I'm going to leave all these turned on. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my automation on. Let them handle the, that for a while. Uh, my second tradition is ready to be adopted. I'm going to adopt the mercantile uh, tradition. Simply because I can get a tra trade and league federation out of it. You know, it looks like I pacified some of the uh, amoebas. Now I may then resume my expansion. The year is 2230, which is the first 30 years of the, in the game is a Megacorp, and I think that's a good place to stop this video. This came out pretty similar to the Commonwealth of Man video that I made, so I didn't put as much detail into this. So if you want more of an idea of how this game plays, uh, watch my Commonwealth of Man video. Uh, and so until next time, this is Rich from Older Strategy Games. Thanks a lot for your time. I'll see you later. Bye.